what makes a song highly licensable for advertising versus television or film or what makes it pop for you uh, when you're trying to fulfill the creative. Music has to have a build in it that comes to some sort of crescendo where the product can be introduced. Um, and th in terms of the lyrical themes, it tends to have to be in a sort of general vein, nothing specific, no people's certain specific names. It can't be like, a st you know, in terms of storytelling and poetry it tends to not work as well in advertising. I think that creating good creative work um, is about uh, coming up with something unique. Um, advertising is about telling a story, uh, and typically you're only going to have 30 to se 60 seconds to tell that story. So it's about um, trying to come up with something that's going to work in the confines of a short amount of time, not the typical length of, you know, crafting your song based on your artistry. I feel like more and more artists are like doing things more independently and by themselves. Do you guys see that happening in your world as well? Definitely. I mean, you kind of have to these days because the model isn't the same. If you're not, you know, a huge sort of uh, pop act, a lot of major labels don't want you because they can't could have do all the things they need to do with you. Um, you almost have to be highly marketable and already profiting before a, a label will take you. Publishing is much easier because you can be good and then, of course, you know, go from there and everybody kind of needs publishing, whether you do it yourself or get a company to admin or just have, an, uh, yeah, or have a deal. If you can... Be entrepreneurial. If you have a good idea, cultivate that idea. You know, really work with it. Um, there's so much opportunity. Things are changing so much. It's incredible. I mean, there wasn't Facebook 10 years ago. Maybe 10 years ago? Nine years ago? I mean, you know, there's so many things that have changed in such a short period of time.